because the water level is a little bit lower than usual, it means that we can sort of get into the water a little bit. So I'm going to set up here, try and get this little cascade and uh, with Bucoletta more in the background. And if I look like I'm a kid having fun, you nailed it. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get this shot, see how it looks. Well, hi there. So it's uh, Sunday in Scotland. We got the Bucho here, the Bucho Lettive Moor in Glencoe. We're standing in Glencoe right now. It's about three degrees. <laughs> it's really cold. Um, this is Black Rock Cottage, which is quite an iconic little uh, spot in Glencoe. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just doing the classic. We're, we're just here to do some classic iconic shots um, because we've literally got one day today in Scotland before we, uh, before we fly out. So uh, I'm, I'm currently with uh, Scott Masterton of uh, Fascinating Light Photography. Scott's been very kind to bring us up here for the day. I'll get him on camera for in a second when he, when he comes across. So what I've done here is I've got a, a really, um, uh, uh, just a basic composition here. I've got the, uh, the, the cottage here. I've managed to hide most of the, there's some electricity um, poles behind the cottage that you have to get out of the shot. Um, I've got the buccal uh, here in the, in the background as well. And uh, I'm just really waiting on some light to hit the hill. Um, the, the light's been coming and going. And uh, so we've got a, kind of a, a mixture of cloud and, and clear sky today. Anyway, it's great to be here. It's, uh, it's been a bit of a goal to come here and do some shots uh, in Glencoe. And um, anyway, so my settings right now, I've actually got a, uh, a graduated filter on there uh, just to, just to um, bring down the sky a little bit. My settings are F9, I'm at ISO 50, and I've got a half second shutter speed. And um, let's just take that shot. Okay, we'll put that up. Let's see what you think. If you hadn't guessed already, we're at Ettermore Waterfall. Uh, just a gorgeous little place. The, uh, the clouds are forever changing on us here. I'm with uh, Scott Masterton from uh, Fascinating Light Photography. Scott? Scott? <laughs> you need to go and check out Scott's uh, website and his Facebook page. I'll put some links in the description. He does amazing, amazing work. And uh, it's a real pleasure to be here for the day with them. Anyway, um, I've just taken a shot down the waterfall here. Um, a little bit precarious to get to, so if you do come here, please be careful. Um, but um, because the water level is a little bit lower than usual, it means that we can sort of get into the water a little bit. So I'm going to set up here, try and get this little cascade and uh, with Bucoletta more in the background. 
And if I look like I'm a kid having fun, you nailed it. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get this shot, see how it looks. Okay, so I think, uh, I think we got this shot here. So what we're gonna do now is just take a little bit of a walk uh, just up the river here because there's quite a few compositions up here that use the river as a bit of a leading line towards uh, Bucolet of Moor. So uh, come with me, let's take a walk. So we didn't have too far to walk at all. There was compositions everywhere. I think we walked about 20, 25 meters uh, past a little tree. The light was just sensational. So we stopped, got the tripod in the water and took some shots. Check it out. <laughs> again so once again you got the uh, the bucolette of moor up here uh, what I've actually done is just come down underneath the waterfall uh, almost under the bridge here and again there's a, a lovely little waterfall here right in front of me um, so I've just taken two shots uh, one for the foreground for the waterfall one for the buccal and if we have to later on I can blend them so we get some uh, uh, everything sharp and in focus um, that's it, let's put the shot up, let's see what you think. Hi again. So we've just uh, finished doing some shots uh, at Etiv Moor Waterfall. Um, I've got to tell you, one of the inspirations for me coming here was a channel on YouTube called Scotland's Mountains. And if you've never seen Scotland's Mountains, it's run by uh, Murray Wilkie, who is uh, an amazing guy who does amazing walks around Scotland's Mountains. So I'll link to him in the, in the, uh, the video. Uh, I'm sure you're going to love his channel. He deserves thousands more subscribers. So go and like some of his videos, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.